how to glitter a wine bottle or any type of bottle this will still work for um, any bottle that you've got I've taken the back label off don't worry about the sticky glue the residue from the label that's been left because we're going to put glue on it anyway what you need to do is you carefully just glue around the label go up to the lid don't grip it too tight that you're going to actually open this bottle of wine if I do that I'll end up drinking it uh, so what you need to do is you just paint around the bottle what I'm going to do with the label around the label is I'm going to put some bling on it so I've got some diamantes so I'm just going to paint this bottle so you just need one thin coat the bottle depending on the glitter I use very fine glitter and it's from I, I get it on Amazon the label I don't cover the label with masking tape because it pulls the label off and sometimes it leaves a, a high ridge in your glitter so once you've given it that one thin coat so I've got this little scoop you can use anything that will scoop you can use a spoon you can use anything I've got that so what you do is you just cover I'll try and keep my hands out of the way so you can see you just shake your glitter over your bottle so it depends on the glitter like I said you might need um, three coats you'll need definitely two with white wine the bottles look really pretty because the, the, the clear liquid of the wine shines through if you're only doing two coats and I'll just stand up near the radiator to dry the bottom of the bottle what you don't want is big hard lumps on the bottom so just give the bottom just a little wipe you will get a little messy when you do this but what you want to avoid is lumps if there's any lumps of glitter or glue you just pick them off and then you can fix that with the next coat so that's not too bad actually so this might only need two coats and it's really really pretty but there we go so um i'll need to leave this to dry for a few hours and i'll show you both bottles that i've done and then it's just the case of another coat so i'll put this where it's warm to dry this is our bottle after three coats i had to do three coats um, the last coat that seals the glitter so it doesn't come all over your hands is you just put some of your Mod Podge into a container and add just a little water and give it a good mix so what this does is when it dries on the bottle it will seal the glitter but you'll still see it so it doesn't look like a, a thick um, plasticky coating on the top of the bottle so this pink one this is the hot pink we need to put a top coat on this one so it, it's quite easy to do so you just start at the top and you can see it looks a little bit untidy at the top but once this top coat is dry we will sort that out now as you can see as it's going on I'll try and keep it in with the camera you can see the consistency of the Mod Podge before I put this on I did give the bottle a little rub with my hands over 
the the plastic box just to catch any excess of the glitter. Don't don't rub too much of the the loose glitter off because this coat will seal it. Now the trick with this top coat is to get it on as quickly and thinly as you can. And this is the consistency that you that you get. This is what it's going to look like. Now, Mod Podge and PVA glue will dry clear. So it leaves a, like a plastic coating. Especially Mod Podge because it's used for decoupage and other things. I'm going to set this aside for a few hours. So the... The Mod Podge will dry, it will dry clear. It's had its top coat, so as you can see when you rub it, there's no glitter that comes off on your hands. So to decorate, I'm going to show you one I've already done. This is a pink one. I've done this with pearls because the pearls stood out much better on the pink glitter than the glaze the than the gems did and I couldn't really find a dark enough gem to go with this and the red just didn't suit it. What the pearls do I'll turn it this way so you can see it. So I put a bow on it. That just needs a little stick back down. Now what I did was I took my craft knife and I just cut along here so it took all the all the excess that was on this metal lid. Now very fortunately I've got very little on the label. If it's a paper label you have to be very careful because any that goes on you won't get it back off, it will stick to it. But it just so happens that we're going to put our gems around this. So this one, the gems have to be red. Now, I buy these and I get these from the pound shop. Even though it's pound shop, if you see this, these, these are these were clear. To get gems for any colour that you want, if you get clear ones and get a Sharpie pen or any other pen that you have that's a permanent, it has to be permanent so it doesn't come off and it only takes a few minutes to dry so what you do is you just draw on your gems as tacky glue and um, this one uh, my sister and I Sandra again we got these in the craft shop it wasn't hobby craft I don't think it might have been I got it because it's got quite a fine point so you just Put a fine line of your glue, PVA glue will work just as well. This is just slightly stronger than PVA glue. Some of them are called high tack, some of them it's just tacky glue. It's just a little thicker version of it. It doesn't matter if you smudge it just a little bit. As with the PVA glue, it will dry clear. So you just want to run a little line right along the very edge of your glitter. If you're doing spirit bottles like vodka bottles, whiskey bottles, a lot of vodka bottles have a plastic label. So it's quite easy for any that you have smudged on to get it off. So then what you need to do is you take Excuse me getting my arms in the way again. And 
and just stick your gems in. They will stick to your fingers because they've got double sided. They've got sticky tape on the back. And then just push your gems into place. So any glue that you get in between your gems will dry. And what you need to do is, you do the other side. These are just perfect for this label, the length of this label. Any that you've got too big, you just need a little pair of scissors and you just snip them off. If your line's too big or too short, and I'll show you that in a little minute. But you just push it into shape. Because this has been done with, I've coloured them with a permanent marker. Just pull it round. I have tried using these and just just sticking sticking them on with the glue that's on these gems, but you get up in the morning and they've peeled off. So that's why I put the glue on with them as well, just in case anybody's wondering because they're sticky gems, why am I putting glue on at the same time? So that's that done. And that's that done. Her bottle's just about finished. You just have to leave these to dry. There's one more thing that's going to go on this. And that's this bow. Two more things because I have a tag as well. I'll make my own tags, as you can see. So that's that's going to hang on there with a piece of ribbon, well, round the other way possibly, plain and simple. And that one that I've still got the bow to put on.